Well, good afternoon and welcome to Mr. Wimble's tutorial on spot heights, contour lines and relief shading. Let's begin and talk about spot heights. Spot heights are very simple. It's a spot which tells you the height of something. Very simple. That spot there is 100 metres above sea level. This spot over here is 8 metres above sea level. Simple, but it doesn't actually tell us much. You'll often see a spot height, say, at the top of a mountain, uh, to show just how, like at the highest point of the mountain, there's the spot height. But, for example, we're looking at a map, and here's 100 metres, here's 8 metres. We have no idea how the kind of, the hill runs. It might be a, a gentle kind of gradual run like that, or, or it could be even uh, like that, or similarly like that. So it's actually not as helpful spot heights as contour lines. So contour lines are very simply a line on the map where the height above sea level is exactly the same. So if I were to draw a hill and I were to draw some contour lines on the hill, right here would be say 150, here would be 100, here would be 50 and there's the C. So the contour line follows exactly where it is 100 meters above sea level, 50 meters and 150 meters. And then at the top you would most usually find a 168 spot height. S H with a weird little line there for no reason. Spot height, contour line, so, when you're looking at a topographic map, which I'll draw now, and you see a whole bunch of squiggly lines like this, because they're closer together here and further apart here, we know that the hill is steep and then gradually going down like that. We can tell that because the contour lines are closer together at one end and further apart at the other. So remember we're looking at this picture from up here. There's our little random looking eye. We're looking at it from above. So those pictures there, close together here, that's you looking from that angle, further apart here. So just by looking at the contour lines we should be able to visualise what a, a hill or a valley will actually look like based on how close together the lines are. So with an image like this, you'd find contour lines that pretty much were circular across all of these. It's all quite uniform. Pretty, pretty simple to tell what kind of landscape you're in. And if we were to say make that a topographic map, which is what you're going to see, it would look like this. There's your map. It would simply look a lot like that with concentric circles here, yeah? all over the place. With some spot heights, yeah, because the top of the hill, you'd put the spot heights. So that's what you might see for something like that. For another type of landscape, you would see the contour line probably close to this road because they would have made it as, as flat as possible. So the contour line might run something like that along the edge. And obviously they'll be closer together the steeper the mountain is. Whereas down in the valley you're probably not going to find any. You'd probably find a spot height, 60 metres. And then these close together here, and obviously flattening out on top here. How would that look as a topographic map? Something to that effect. And you could look at it and say, oh, I'm struggling with this six here. And you'd look at it and say, okay, obviously this part here is a valley. 
because you could tell obviously these things are probably going to go 80, 100, etc, etc. For really steep mountains, you're obviously going to find contour lines incredibly close together. And then less close as the mountain tapers off at the end. But still enough so that you could tell that this is quite a steep ravine. And obviously in the background going nuts over here. And obviously, if you're doing cross section, you'd draw the river going here with a spot height, 18 or whatever, a thousand meters. And that would look like something to this effect. Really, really close together. And just by looking at the map, you go, okay, I can tell, really steep over here, really steep over here, no contour lines, it must flatten out. Hopefully spot heights and contour lines uh, have been explained relatively well. Another one we can talk about, which is pretty easy to work out, is relief shading. All that is, very simply, is when you make it even easier for the person reading the map by actually shading the contour line areas different colours. So for this map, we might go, we'll make the inside bit this colour, then we'll make that that colour, then we'll make that that colour. So to make it as easy as possible for a person looking at the map to go, okay, I can see that everything in the white is, say, 40 metres. Everything in the yellow, or we might call it a deep mustard, is 60 metres, and everything in the pale yellow is 80 meters so that's relief shading it's just a, a way that some maps make it as easy as possible for the person reading it to understand where which height is which hopefully you've enjoyed this very quick put together video hopefully it explains spot heights contour lines and relief shading catch you in class probably the second you look up from this video mr wimble Signing off.